Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today we are going to talk about Cloud B2B Gateway Custom Inbound Mapping. We know Cloud B2B Gateway is capable to handle EDI and AD effect messages. Here, this will be an example to show how the custom files are handled by B2B Gateway. Agenda is very short here. We will talk about custom files and custom mappings and the use cases and then how to configure inbound flow. That means we will talk about the sources and targets which are required to design the flow and then we will run an example inbound flow and show the result. So as I told in the beginning, we know Cloud B2B Gateway is capable to process and exchange EDI and AD fact files between the organization and the partners. Along with that, it comes with another feature with where it can actually process and exchange custom files between the organization and the partners. So for custom files, we need custom mappings, custom data integration mappings, I would say, where we can design our own way to process the file as per our use cases. Today, we will talk about two-step processing so that I can cover the whole flow. Definitely, the single-step processing is more shortcut where we can use some intelligent structure discovery and only one mapping just to elaborate and explain it in detail we will use two-step processing so we have a few rules and guidelines for inbound custom file mapping first of all b2b does not verify the file type when it runs the mapping when you set up the organization in the b2b gateway it creates some connections like B2B ETI Gateway, B2B ETI Gateway Endpoint, and Document Store in that IICS organization. And the last but not the least, you must parameterize all the connections which are related to B2B Gateway connection. Let us look at the sources and targets of inbound flows. So, in two-step processing, we use both inbound mapping and process to backend mapping. So first, the inbound mapping will be executed and then the process to ma backend mapping will be executed. And in the beginning, the file will be either FTP'd or from the local folder from somewhere, the file will be pulled in. So here are the source and target object and connections required for the first step inbound mapping. We will show this while going through that mapping. This is the next part process to backend mapping as a part of two step processing. Here the source connection and objects we are using B2B gate to EDI gateway and custom source target could be any because we are sending the file to somewhere else. And as I mentioned, you must parameterize the connections. So I'm going to create the first inbound mapping. And as per the rule, I'm going to choose the source first, which should be B2B gateway EDI gateway endpoint. This options will be already available as soon as you set up your B2B org. Here in the object, I'm going to select get as we have seen in the earlier part of this session. My source is ready. Now I'll go to the target.
Now we will set the target here. So I'll be choosing P2B gateway and the object it should be custom target. Hence, the inbound mapping is completed. I will save it. Once it is saved, the next step is to make these connections parameterized. As it is said, it is mandatory to make any B2B EDI gateway connection as parameterized. Click on new parameter. Same thing I'll be doing for the target as well. Click on new parameter. Okay. Now let's look at the field mapping. As it is a dummy one, uh, so I will just take a few uh, couple of columns like path and event ID just to make sure that the mapping is valid. That is enough for me. I'll save the mapping and the mapping, the first inbound mapping is completed. Let us create the second one, which is process to backend mapping. Here, the source should be selected as B2B EDI gateway. And the object should be custom source. the target could be anything I have already created a few flat file connection I will be choosing one of them so the target connection is ready so let me complete the field mapping. And the process to backend mapping is ready here. Now we have to parameterize the source connection as it is used in the B2B gateway connection. Click on new parameter and OK. Save the mapping. We will go to the B2B gateway service now. Let us create a new customer here. Custom, I will be choosing custom. Inbound connection type, I have something in advance so I'll be choosing those connections here I have to choose the mappings whichever I have created in the data integration part this is the mapping which I have created so let's select and then let's choose the process to backend mapping. So the inbound connection is ready. I have chosen both the inbound and process to backend mappings. Let's save this inbound and we will run the inbound flow. So the B2B gateway event is created. Status is showing transfer of incoming files got succeeded and then it is doing that inbound mapping. Let's go to the data integration tab to see the data integration. Here we can see the first inbound mapping. It got succeeded here. And the second process to backend mapping is now starting. 
and the event is showing succeeded all the steps in transfer of incoming files processing incoming files using inbound mapping and then process to backend mapping is also completed data integration mappings are also showing success two mappings got succeeded hence the inbound flow is completed now as we have mapped only the file path in the target file we can see that once the inbound flow is completed we are in the target file i just opened it already and only the path is visible here so we are done with that inbound flow please follow this given link we have a video kb about an introduction on b2b gateway and you can follow this document as well for more information about b2b gateway we would like to hear from you kindly post your comments using the below links thank you